Labidi is leaving the team for 4.1 million. And Maxwell has accepted. He is joining our team and trust me, this guy is a sick talent. If you need coins, go ahead and use the code in the description below. It is Johnny for FIFA Coin Zone. And also, if you want to play for some real money, go ahead and click the link for GamerSaloon.com and sign up. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Bristol City career mode. I uploaded another episode yesterday, and now it's time to move on in the championship. Bristol City currently on 63 points, 11 points in front of QPR. And now take a look at the top scoring list. Andre is still sitting in first place with 17 goals. And we have gotten ourselves a new transfer in the last episode. We got big offers for Minchol, our goalkeeper and Labidi. We accepted both, but in the end, the only one that was sold was Labidi. Minchol is still in the team. And in this episode, we have quite big matches coming up. Bournemouth in the league, and then we have Reading in the cup. We are starting off, though, with a simulation against Wolverhampton. We lost that one, which was quite surprising. But right after that, we are playing against Bournemouth. And now, it was time for our team to move forward and get three points. After that loss against Wolverhampton, it was a 1-0 loss. And now, Maxwell Cornet is making his first appearance for Bristol City. And his first shot will be saved by the goalkeeper. A decent shot, by the way. Andre now on the left-hand side has a lot of space. Does look for his teammate, Cornet, with a header. And uh, that's his second shot in a 12th minute already, man. This guy is starting off strong. But there is high expectations for Cornet because Labidi has left the team and he's the replacement and he's a really good one. 1-0, one 25th minute, his third shot and this time it goes in with the number 9, the new striker in the team in his debut match. He's able to score, gets past the defender with a nice fake shot and then the right foot to finish it off even though he's a left footed player. And that is his first goal in his debut match. Great start for Cornet. And hopefully he'll be able to score many, many more. Minchel making a good save right there. He's still in the team and he probably will stick to the team for a bit more. The only time I would really sell him is for a big amount of money. And 7.5 million is a lot. And talking about a lot. Two goals in a debut match. That is a lot for a new striker joining into a team. And he just shows... He's definitely someone that we will enjoy a lot. His second goal with his weak foot. He just comes into this team and starts scoring. And now Cornet with the pass to Andre. He could get an assist as well. Yes, he does so. Andre now going up to 18 goals. And Maxwell Cornet is getting his first assist in the team. And he's on the ball once again. Cornet now on the run. Andre is on the left-hand side waiting for the pass. Cornet could score on his own, but he's a good guy. He passes it over. And he has now gotten in one match only two goals and two assists. Insane performance from Maxwell Cornet. And after that, he is going out. Uh, and he's uh, replaced by two really good guys. Yeshil joining in together with Kekuta Mane. Kekuta Mane is a four-star skiller, so I thought let's try something out. Kekuta Mane gets into the penalty area and finishes it with his left foot. 5-0 for Bristol City against Bournemouth. One of the best teams in the league and what an amazing performance that is. Our team just showing up big time after Maxwell Cornet now joined into the team. Labidi has left and maybe it was the right decision. We'll see in the future. But that match really showed me that Maxwell will be a great addition to our squad. Looking forward to using him in the future. But uh, you can see in the background, we do have a few youngsters joining in. The only one that will keep is Luke Blackman, a 69 to 89 potential. And one thing I really wanted to do was give Andre a new contract. I really wanted to give him another contract because I felt like if anyone wants to buy him in the next season, which will definitely happen because he might turn out to be the top scorer of the season, I just want them to go ahead and pay a load of money because the only way I'm selling him is for a load of money. And Andre is definitely a player I would love to keep, but you have to keep in mind, our team is still not high rated enough for the BPL and... 
For a BPL season, we do need strikers above 70. So let's hope that Andre and Maxwell Cornet will be growing. Cornet now 69 rated, four games, uh, two games played, two assists and two goals. A great performance by him and we'll see what he can do against Leicester City. This is our next opponent and it is an opponent in the championship as well. And Leicester City is in the top five. They do have some six strikers in there with Ujoa and uh, Kramaric, a youngster. Sadly, this match is in the snow, so you guys might not be able to see everything quite clearly, but we do start off in the fourth minute with Achyam Pong, scoring a very similar goal to the one that we scored last season, if you guys remember. I normally never score this sliding shot thing, but Brian scored it in the last season, and this time it's Achyam Pong joining into, uh, joining into? No, getting into the attack and uh, scoring that goal. A great job by him, it's an early goal for uh, Bristol City against Leicester. Don't get me wrong though, I knew that it was an early goal and there is still a long way to go until we can win this match against Leicester City. In the 20th minute, it's them on the ball and they do have some quite good passing on them. King now getting into the penalty area, pass it over to Joao and his shot gets saved by Mark Minshall. And now we are moving on into a new attack. This time it's us on the right hand side, Little with a great pass inside for Senorelli, a centre midfielder who I do play whenever we use our reserves team. Senorelli once again on the ball. Pass it over to Yeshil. Yeshil now on the run. One-on-one -on -one against the keeper. And that will definitely be a goal for such a high finisher like him. Yeshil with them finishing stats is able to get it past the goalkeeper in the 66th minute. And now Little, our right back, is on the right-hand side, obviously. And he does get fouled. And it is a penalty for our team. And this is an opportunity to score. Score. That third goal and Andre is stepping up to score it. Top right corner. It's 3-0. Andre with another goal. And now he is on. Let me think about this. He's on 20 goals, I think. This is his 20th goal. Andre started off with 17 goals in this episode. And now already at 20. He is looking to be the top striker of the season. 69 rated, but still an amazing player. And Leicester City just couldn't get past Mark Minshall, who is doing a great job in this season. And no wonder that a lot of teams are looking at him as a big, big prospect. And they are trying to buy him. But we were able to win this game 3-0. Three points. Good job. Well done. And now let's take a look at this. Andre did accept the contract offer, which is for me, very important because if he goes, he has to go for a big amount of money and for that reason, to achieve that, we are going ahead and offering him a contract so that his contract is going for a little bit longer, which makes him a lot more, uh, a lot higher valued. So you can see, we are in the FA Cup in the round of 16 against Reading. So we got one of the easier opponents. We could have definitely gotten a BPL team to play against, but we are up against Reading. So let's see what we can do. Reading is a team that has some decent players in there. Karajan, uh, especially, now went to Galatasaray in real life. He has joined them, which in my opinion was the wrong decision, but whatever. You can see right here that Reading do start off with the first attack. It will be across from then Mark Minshall tries to get to it, but my defenders just... I don't know what my defender did there. If you saw that, he somehow did something which looked like a backflip or something that Nani would do after scoring a goal. But we do get into the penalty area with Cornet, I believe. And his shot gets saved by the goalkeeper. Great job from him. Now there's a cross coming in for Reading, and they do have it with McLeary. McLeary will take the shot. And that one will go wide after the deflection. Great job from defense, especially our captain Flint. Has been not really too vocal. I mean, we haven't seen him do a lot lately, but he's just solid. He is very solid. Whenever I use him, he is just solid. No way of getting past him. And he's not really slow. He is quite good with the pace. But now Luke Hyam got the ball off the defender. Pass it over to Devante Cole. His pass goes back to Cornet and he scores a goal. A back heel pass from Co uh, Devante Cole who just knew that that was a sticky situation to score from. So he passed it over and Cornet, the finisher that he is, is able to score that one. And now he has the chance to score once more. Cornet on another shot and that's 2-0. 
My god, this guy is coming up with some sick goals. I wasn't expecting him to be that tall. Like, honestly, I thought he would be a slim striker. But Corne is actually quite strong. He's able to hold off defenders and he does have the pace in him. He is very, very good and I'm really looking forward to see how good he can actually become because I know for a fact that this guy will definitely go up to the 80s. That would be amazing. And to Devante Cole there, if you could see it, he did hit the crossbar. So he got a bit unlucky, but he does have an assist, I believe, in this match. But talking about uh, goals and stuff, you can see that our opponent was able to score. They are now getting closer to that equalizer, but there is no way for them to come back because they scored in the 90th minute after kickoff I just held on to the ball and Maxwell Corne is once again the man of the match a great job from him but all in all a good team effort and now we are playing against Preston at home so we simmed it and you can see us winning it 3-0 El Yunusi the new transfer is able to score one Smith also scored and Kekuta Mane came in as a substitute and scored as well and now let's take a look at the U squad you can see some good players in there and uh, we'll see maybe some of them will join before may maybe some of them will join after may i will have to decide on that one or you guys can tell me that in the comments down below once again because that is obviously a topic that we have talked about a lot lately and i don't know i still don't know what to do because uh, it's tough it's really tough i mean this series has so much potential but you guys seem to not really enjoy it I don't know I really feel like you guys don't enjoy it as much as my other career modes and that sucks because I truly love this team but I want to know uh, if you guys could smash over 1000 likes I would definitely be looking forward to record this once again but if it keeps going on like this I mean the Schalke career mode gets over 2000 likes this one barely gets below 1k and I don't know and with the series that we have planned with MGH and stuff if we do a season 2 of the U squad challenge of, or a series like that We might actually go on and stop this series I don't know you guys will have to decide with the likes you have to support this currently We are in first place the player of the month was Andre once again two months after another uh, Andre was able to get the player of the month and Corne definitely made a big impact on the team He's now 69 rated as well. Take a look at this. He's 19 years old four games played four goals scored to assist Definitely the right transfer to make hopefully your assistant coaches enjoyed this episode Thank you so much for watching and now enjoy the assistant coaches showcase